For a while, it was one of football's biggest brands, outfitting the likes of Manchester United, Chelsea, Arsenal, Sevilla, and Ajax. In fact, Johan Cruyff won two European Cups wearing this shirt. If you're European, you probably know the brand. If you're American, probably not. Either way, subscribe below and stick around for the story of Bukta. Hi everyone and welcome to the Soccer Collectible Show, the channel for the history and value of soccer memorabilia. My name is Jonathan Kastner. I'm an appraiser with National Appraisal Consultants and I'm a sports memorabilia specialist with Alda for Auction here in Pennsylvania. This episode we're going to be looking at the brand called Bukta. But before we do, just click the subscribe button below. If you're an American like me and you grew up playing or following the game in the 1980s and 1990s, you had to work especially hard just to stay in the game. Games from England were taped delayed as much as a week. For some reason though, the Dutch League was televised live, but you had to get up early for it. I remember setting my alarm for 7 a.m. to see Ajax take on Sparta or Feyenoord take on PSV, and there were some great games. So I became accustomed to the Dutch League, and I really liked their shirts. Obviously Ajax, PSV, and Feyenoord had great shirts, but I think I liked NAC's kit the best. Another favorite was Crystal Palace's 1990 home kit. I remember seeing Ian Wright score a hat-trick on some highlight show. I can't remember against who, but I remember that red shirt. And I also remember the sponsor was Virgin, but not the brand. The shirt was made by Bukta. Bukta was founded in 1879 as E.R. Buck and Sons in Stockport by Edward Buck. In its early days, it supplied durable clothing to soldiers in the British Army. It also supplied gear to football clubs, Nottingham Forest and Newcastle United. Bukta short pants didn't rip, its shirts held their shape, and its colors didn't fade. By the 1930s, the company was using its well-known Flying Buck logo. Over the next half century, it fitted dozens of top flight clubs in Europe. So where is Bukta today, and what happened? The company went bankrupt in the 1990s, and after several different owners and failed relaunches, its trademark is now owned by a Singapore-based sporting goods company. That is at least according to the United States Patent and Trademark Office and the European Union Intellectual Property Office. The U.S. trademark, filed in 2014, is good until 2024 when the owners have to show that they were using the mark in business for it to be renewed. The same goes for the European trademark, which expires in 2021. If you're an objective historian, you know that Bukta is just one of a number of former great footballing brands that are now obscure, owned by another brand, or completely non-existent. At the end of the day, it's about capitalism, isn't it? The biggest fish get bigger, and the smaller fish, well, they get gobbled up. I'm not here to complain about that, but I do think today's game is missing a lot when we don't have the smaller brands. But consolidation means we have fewer styles, fewer identities. What makes collecting football shirts so attractive are all the different varieties of shirts. But it wasn't just about style or identity. Each brand fit a little different. Adidas shirts were a little tighter, Nike shirts were a little more baggy, and Umbro shirts that seemed like fit just right. A lot of people have brands that they reminisce about, and for me, the brand was Lanzara. I had a pair of Lanzara world-class boots that I bought in college, $135. It seemed like it took me the entire summer to save up to pay for those shoes. Lanzara wasn't the Italian brand I thought it was. It was actually started up by a fellow New Jersey native from Newark. But the boots were good enough for Claudia Reyna and John Hark, so they were good enough for me. Well, that does it for this episode. Do you have any interesting stories you'd like to share with us? Any interesting collectibles? Email us at the Soccer Collectible Show, all one word, at gmail.com. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Take care, everybody.